<laughs> we're doing beer. I feel so nervous now. So. What's up, everyone? Today we're doing a lot in this episode. We're back in Prague this week. We're going to kick off by going to one of our favorite cafes. Also, two of our friends are visiting. Then we're going to get an interesting brunch at a place I've mentioned before, before going to one of my favorite beer bars. Then we're going to go get more beer. Please stay tuned till the end of the video to see some awesome Detroit style pizza. It's a brand new place in Prague. As always, if you want to support me and the channel, hit the like, do a comment, subscribe. Let's go to Prague. What's up, everyone? We are heading to Carlin. I think if you've seen my other Prague video, you've seen the neighborhood. We're going to grab some coffee, then we're going to get brunch with our friends Patrick and Krizia who are visiting. After that, we'll go to a bar. We'll show you more Carlin stuff, more Prague stuff. Um, let's hang out and eat and drink because that's kind of what we do here. Back through the famous tunnel I always show out on the other side and the one day we were finally gonna try this cafe, it is closed. It might just be a weekday situation. We're like one minute into the video and something's already not gone according to plan. So we're gonna go to one of our favorite cafes. We've been here three times, I think, two or three times. So we're gonna go get coffee there while we wait for our friends to come meet up with us for our brunch resi. All right, we're back at Emma, aka Electro Magnetica Aroma Cafe for the third or fourth time. Here's the menu. Some sandwiches, some pastry and fun stuff. We really liked the walnut swirl that may or may not be this guy. Yeah, the caramel walnut swirl can link that if you want to see that video, depending on when the heck I'm going to publish that. <laughs> Will we be able to order? So yesterday I had a fantastic croissant and coffee, and the coffee was one of my favorites I had. It had been a week since I had caffeine and it, just, it tasted great, but then I had like waves of anxiety all day. So I'm abstaining today to like prevent that from happening. Uh, Yoonji's in the bathroom changing her skirt and then we'll see what she thinks about her flat white. She's always wanted to sit here. It is mega crowded right now. We are meant to have brunch in like five minutes, but we're definitely not gonna rush this. Gonna enjoy the coffee and enjoy the chaos vibe. Definitely cool cafe, cool vibe. Uh, pretty good coffee, good pastry, but that was super crowded. Uh, let's head over to our brunch spot. All right, we are at Eska. Our friends beat us here. Crazy and Patrick might be a freeze frame. All right, we're here at Eska. We have a res. Let's do it. All right, to the kitchen and bakery where everything gets done, where the meals are put together and then brought up to eat. Definitely vibier and more energy than when we came here for lunch. Here is their brunch menu. As Patrick just asked, we've been here for lunch and dinner, but never brunch. That's what we thought you'd get. We need to start recording what we think people are gonna get since no one will believe us until. Their bread is fantastic. Sourdough bread with I don't have much rye. And then their butter is absolutely delicious and always the right temperature. I was washing my hands. We got some drinks, espresso tonic, espresso some peach fermented soft drinks, and then Patrick went all in on caffeine. He got the coffee fermented soft drink. And now they all stop talking, because uh, I'm back. Yeah. He's pondering which this one he likes more. coffee drink, while this is more like a, it's just different. Yeah. This is very, what is that fermented drink that we like in Kombucha? Kombucha, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. it's kind of like kombucha. So I misspoke, I talked about it always being the right temperature, but coming at brunch, it's cold from, I don't know, the fridge or whatever. Yeah, sausage one. Yeah, good. Wow. Oh man, I got a massive dish. Oh man, this is a huge surprise. This is, uh, this is what I got, guys. All right, so Patrick got either the Carlin or Eska. We keep forgetting what, what they are. The Eska, so the one with sausages, poached egg. Krizia and Yunji both got the, the Carlin, which is with char, which we had here for lunch, so it was fantastic. A lot of salad -y stuff, some yogurt. Is that a French toast? And a poached egg? 
Oh, there is a poached egg in there. Yeah, look at that. There's a poached egg in here, so hold on. Let's see. Got it. Is it hot? <laughs> we have this fermented red wheat, either with what the polenta or the, the charm, and it's really good. I like it to go again. With the little scallions come in. The little scallions and the egg. This is actually really good. It's uh, probably 40% of the size that I expected, but it tastes great. Here's a better look at the carlin. Apparently there's some toast under there. Clearly a lot of salad, poached egg, and some char. The fish. Yeah, so this is funky. It's um, like a piece of French toast under a poached egg. There wasn't a ton of char. Um, so it's a little interesting to have like the savory egg with like semi-sweet French toast, but I, I do like the salad. And I did love the fermented peach soda thing, and we'll dig into this as well, and that, this came with it too. The mushrooms in this make this so like silky with the poached egg, and then a lot of texture and flavor from the fermented red wheat. The yogurt is delicious. It is all yogurt with a little crumble on top. You're probably supposed to start your meal with it. We're ending ours, but delicious. On to the next thing. Uh, if you know, you know. Back at Devacahote. Getting the beers. So we're back at Devacahote. Wanted to show them getting their beers, then I'll order mine in a segundo. And here are all the gorgeous, I don't know, tanks, I guess, not even kegs, just like very serious setup here. Alright, ordering beer. I feel so nervous now. So usually once the session, it's actually like really low ABV. It's only 4%. I think I was gonna do the lager, but Patrick didn't seem like really happy about it, so I'm gonna do the misty ale. I need my phone, so we'll see you in a second. <laughs> You're like a villain for sure. <laughs> Nastravi. <laughs> Round two. Now I'm gonna have to edit the audio. Just kidding, no one knows. Patrick got the raptor. And then like, I think in their mind it's like- Throw it back to 2020 or 2019. Concert raptors? Oh, I think I always like- 2019 NBA championship. Oh yeah, I don't wanna talk about it. All right, weather's changing. We're gonna head back to Zishkov and maybe hit the park for more beers. All right, we're back here at Park Regrovi getting some beers. Patrick and Chrissy are ordering up some cheeps. It's wet, but uh, we're doing it up. It is very wet here. We're trying to figure it out. Nostravi. Look at me in the eye. <laughs> it is raining at the beer garden. All right, so that was the beer garden. A little rainy, a little Patricky. We're gonna show you top three view of the city right now. Let's do it. We're almost there, folks. Top three views in the entire city. And of course, you know, I'll leave a pin. Okay, so I hyped it up a lot, but it is gorgeous. That is the castle. When it's not raining, I swear everyone would be drinking and laying out and hanging out here, but uh, I don't know, YouTube's weird. Taking photos is freaking awesome. Am I right? Okay, so we left the, the park, the beer garden. We're now heading to this new Detroit style pizza place that I found on Google Maps. Actually ran into the people that own it on accident. Oh, wait, there's a moment happening. Okay. We're heading over there. They opened like 10 minutes ago. So we're gonna check it out and get some beers and some pizza can talk more about Detroit style pizza if you're interested, but let's head over and get some comies and brews. Yeah. We got some beer. Yoonji's dying, but we got some beer. This is the pizza menu. We've got a beer menu in front of either of these folks. This is the Bright Lady Lamia. Uh, and this is 
the blood starved beast. The great lady Omia has made cut pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapenos. So jalapenos were grown in Bordeaux. And the, bright, or the blood starved beast is salsiccia sausage, straight from Italy, uh, bacon, which we're curing ourselves, and then also the same pepperoni. The, the kids are at work, getting their slices, getting their bites on. Detroit, go blue, go green, vote in the comments. Are you Spartans or Wolverines? I'm really sad at myself for knowing the mascots. All right, guys, we're gonna eat the food. Maybe you'll see me eat it, I'm excited. Relaxing time. Make it Detroit time. Please let me know how you feel about pineapple on pizza. This is bomb. I'm about this. is very good. We'll be back. Thanks for hanging out. No, Chris was right. This is pretty like spicy weekend. Okay. I already forgot what this is called. This is the fancy one with a bunch of toppings. I've got the dill sauce on it. The food is fantastic. The chili oil is good. The no filter beer. Love it. This is fantastic. 